Okay, let's do this. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is database equipments, specifically items, weapons, and armors, and also how you can configure those. So let's get started. By opening your database and clicking inside the items tab, that will bring you to the items that are stored inside your environment. Now, items specifically does not cover weapons or armors. These are consumables, key items that are stored in your inventory and never equipped by your character. So these are more for utilities rather than equipping. So there's four types of items inside RPG Maker MZ. So the item types are regular item, key item, item item A, and item item B. So let's start with what is regular item. So the most classic item that you know probably about is the potion. That's a regular item with a price set to it. It is a consumable. That means that once it's used, you cannot ever use it again and it simply disappears from your inventory. The scope usually is one ally, though you could have potions that affects uh, all enemies or all allies or whatever. The occasion is whenever is can that be used. In this case, it's either on battle screen or in menu, so always. Now for invocation, that speed, that means that uh, how quickly can it be used once you've selected the option. So is it going to go faster than a scale or stuff like that? Yeah, success percentage. So usually it's hard to miss drinking a potion. So the, of course, it's not going to be 100% in that case. It's not going to repeat itself. So it's only going to happen once. You're not going to gain any TP out of it. And it's a certain it. It's not a physical attack. It's not a magical attack. So 100% chance that it's going to work. The animation's going to play it. And the effect is there's no damage from this because it's supposed to restore health points. And the effect is recover HP 500 on one ally. So that's for a regular potion item that will regen your health. Now, if you saw my video three days ago, which were covering skills, you know about the damage, how it works. Now, this over here works in the exact same as any regular skill so you have the a dot attack and whatnot so it's really up to you as to what you want to do here as formulas and also the elements that you want to attribute so in, to give you an example on regular items rather than a potion we could have a poison which will damage hit points instead of restore by 250. so of course the scope is one enemy the occasion will be only on battle screen it's a regular item it is a consumable that means that once it's been used you can never use it again now you will probably want to change the animation so i feel like poland's kind of i don't know is there something else whatever it's up to you to really to decide so in this case we're just gonna go with oh wait there's a poison here perfect so poison animation now the damage would be 250 no recovery effect no variance, no critical, and the element in that case, there's no venom element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside my types, elements, I'm going to add a new one. So maximum of 10, and the 10th element of my game will be venom, so for poison. And so if I go back inside my item poison, there we go. So just right there, I just created a poison which can only be used inside combat that does 250 damage. So it's that simple, ready to create regular items. Now, the other type of items that you probably will be aware of is, let's say, go with this one, will be a key item. And for the example, let's go with dungeon key. So basically, that's a key that's going to affect as a key item. Let me find a good emoticon for that one. Is there anything with a key? There we go. So I'm going to click on the key allows you to open the dungeon door cool now that's a key item that means that it goes in the different section than the reader ones and it's also not a consumable it can never be used the only purpose of this item really is to know that i have it i will use it only inside a conditional branch so that once my player reach the dungeon door if they don't have the dungeon key the door won't open it's that simple. So no damage, no nothing, not a consumable key item. 
so the really the big difference is that that's where it will show up inside the menu now for the two other types item item a and item item b it's items that you have inside your inventory though the player will never see them and once again it's more like for conditions for example Let's say that your players learns a pattern that allows them to craft a robe. So you would have a pattern. Craft robes. That is a consumable, blah, blah, blah. Gen. Let's go. Let's say that's a book right over here. Allow. Learn how to craft a robe. So once the player uses this, what happens is that it's going to get an height then item A which once again will be a pattern except that that's apparently learned so it's learned to craft robe and so it's still inside the inventory they can the player can never see it and once again it's only for condition purposes you need to know that the character learned how to craft a robe and you need to keep a track out of it so you could have this as an item item rather than a switch so you could also have a switch getting activated by using the item specifically that says that you've learned how to craft a robe but you can also use it as an item item instead so it's really up to you and how you want to configure all your things so that's it for the item items really it really allows you to ship tracks of certain things while not taking place inside the inventory for the players now for the weapons that's one of my favorite parts <laughs> i love weapons inside video games but as you can see, there's not a lot of stuff going on here. Of course, you have the name, the icon as well, the description of what it is, the price. Now the weapon type, which once again, if you go inside types over here, you can create new ones. Otherwise, you have the price of the weapon itself. The animation it does whenever the character performs a normal attack with it. Here you have the parameter changes, which can grant bonuses or maluses depending on the type of weapon the character is equipping. For instance, a weapon to grant a lot of attack, but in exchange will remove a lot of defense to the player. So they're more vulnerable to attack, but they do a lot more damage. So that's kind of the stuff that you can do here. So whenever the character equips this blade, he's gonna gain 16 attack points, but his defense is gonna drop by 6. You also have traits for any weapon. So if you create a magic blade, you may want to give it like a different attack element. So that could be, let's say, fire. So yeah, you have a fire blade now, stuff like that. You also have, okay, so this one's a fire blade of poison. That means that every single time my character is going to attack, it's going to apply the state poison to the enemies at 100% chance. So that's a fire poison blade. And we could go even further than that and say, well, that's a fire poison blade of immortality because whenever the character equips this, then he gets a physical damage reduction by 90%. That means that whenever he gets physical damage, it only deals 10% of the damage and you can go on and go on and go on like that and create like epic, epic shit. And finally, we have the armors, which as you see, works closely as the exact same thing as any weapons inside your game except that the type changes a little bit so in this case you have the general armor magic armor light av armor you have the shields as well and as always you can always go inside types and create additional armor types also we have the price the equipment type so what type of equipment does that cover? Is it a body, the head, an accessory, a shield, whatever? What is that specific piece of armor going to do? What are the parameters that it's going to grant or remove, depending? And also, once again, the traits. So is it going to grant you more evasion, more resistance to specific elements, states, immunity, and other cool stuff like that? Maybe it's going to grant you a new, a new skill. Who knows? It's really, really up to you to decide whatever your armor does and how you want to grant this. Okay, so that's it for today's video on equipment, items, weapon and armors and how to configure those. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever. And I'll see you in a couple of days for a new video. Bye. Goodbye. Okay,